Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Patrick Tabano, and I am the lead pastor of University Presbyterian Church in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I want to think with you for a few minutes about Paul's words in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 through 7. You know, like many of you, over the past few months, I have faced a lot of anxiety and fear. This anxiety has taken many forms in my own life. There's an anxiety that springs from navigating our church through a season of uncertainty and change. I'm concerned about the unity, the peace, and the welfare of our congregation. I battle against the fear of man, the concern that others will second guess, disagree, and even oppose the decisions that are made. There's the fear of loss, loss of personal freedom, loss in the growth and the momentum of the church, loss of my own plans for travel and desire for personal comfort. Finally, there's an anxiety for those I love, for the most vulnerable in my church and in my family. I worry about how they're faring, not just physically, but even more so spiritually, emotionally, financially during this season. Perhaps you know these same fears. Perhaps you experience other anxious thoughts. I've had to confess that really all of my anxious thoughts and all of my fears are the result of forgetting who I am and forgetting who God is. I lose sight of the fact that I am God's child, that I have a gracious Father in heaven who loves me, I lose sight of the fact that I have a Redeemer who possesses all authority in heaven and earth and who promises to take care of his church. I lose sight of the fact that I am filled with the Holy Spirit and that he is working all things together for my good. I lose sight of the fact that through prayer I have all the resources of heaven at my disposal. And really, during this season, prayer has been my refuge, a rhythmic reminder of who I am, and more importantly, who God is. In these moments of anxiety and fear, insecurity and uncertainty, I'm learning to cast my cares upon him. There's a peace, there's a comfort in those moments spent before the throne of God. truth is, I'm not an orphan, but a son. I don't live in a time of chaos, but a day that is appointed by him and ordered by his providence. I'm not alone. I have a Savior who has given me his spirit and who promises to be with his church until the end of the age. And beloved, when we rise from prayer, the challenge for us is to go about our day, to face our trials armed with the truth of the gospel, remembering who we are, rejoicing in God's faithfulness, and resting in the promises of his word. Will you join me in prayer? Our Father in heaven, it is with grateful and thankful hearts that we seek you today, not clinging to any righteousness of our own, but only to the righteousness of Christ imputed to us and received by faith. Enable us today to cast our cares upon you and by prayer and supplication to make our requests known. Grant us your peace and guard our heart and mind in Christ Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen.